Hello, welcome to this new tutorial video. Today we'll run through how to set up Wavelink with Twitch VOD Track so you can remove your background music from your VODs but still have them on your live stream. If this video helps you out at all, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and drop a comment down below just to let us know how it helped you and if there's anything you think we can do to help you out, please let us know. Also, we do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. If you're into mediocre gameplay and dying a lot in survival games, well that's me, that's what I do. So go over there, hit that follow button and show us some love over there as well. So let's get into the reason why we're here. Let's head over to Wavelink first. So firstly, you need to head over to your Wavelink, go to the top right hand corner and click on the sound settings for Windows. Once you're in your sound settings, go down to your music app you're using. For example, the example we're using here is Spotify. Change the output to the music wavelength output or any output you decide to use it on. And then jobs are good in. You may have already done this anyway, but it's just a good one just to just make sure it is set up that way. So now we're going to head over into OBS. Once you're in OBS, first thing you need to do is add the audio source from Wavelink into your sources section. First off, come down to sources, go to the plus sign, click audio output capture, and then you've got create new audio output capture or add existing. I've already done it, so we've got add existing. We'll go create new anyway. So we'll just call it audio output capture. Go to device and then select your Wavelink music. And that's it. What you'll then see is you'll get a new output on your mixer on your audio mixer. This is your one you want for just for your music. Now, when you do this, I found you cannot control the volume of the music from Wavelink anymore. When it's in OBS, you have to do it manually within OBS, which is absolutely fine. It's not that difficult to sort out the levels. Once you've done that, you need to go down to the cog at the bottom of that mixer. Go to advanced audio properties. And here you'll see the audio output capture on the property side of things. Let's expand that across. And you see here we've got tracks. Now what you need to do, you need to uncheck track two, or whichever track you set it to, but we're gonna use track two. Now, if you wanna hear the, the music as well as the stream hear your music, if you go to audio monitoring, go to monitor and output, that way it will come through your headphones or whichever audio device you have set up for it. So if we then close this, so next you need to head over to OBS's settings. So click on the settings button, You'll open up this window, head to your output. You'll see the Twitch VOD track. Make sure that box is checked and then check number two. So that is then selecting channel two to go to your VOD, which you've already removed the music from on your advanced audio properties. That's it. That's, that's that bit done. But whilst you're in the settings, what you'd want to do, because we set it up so you can monitor it in your headphones, just double check it is going to the audio device you want. So, go down to the audio tab, which is just below the output tab, come down to advanced monitoring device, and then select your headphones, or whichever device you're using to monitor. For me, it is a pair of wireless headphones just here. Once that's done, you're all good to go. That's it, you're ready to go. Your music will be removed from your Twitch VOD, but will remain on your stream and in your ears. So, best of both worlds. So if this video has helped you out at all, then please don't forget to like and leave a comment down below. From me, that's it for now. Take care all. See you soon.